Good? Yeah. Hey guys, it's James again. We are wrapping up the year of 2015 and I've been contemplating my New Year's resolutions and I've been trying to figure out what it is that I can do to be a better person. Uh, when I first started doing the whole New Year's resolution thing, I was, it was mostly focused on me and you know my goals and things like that. But I recently went traveling and it kind of changed my perspective on what maybe my New Year's resolution should be. So I was traveling home from Austin, where I'm from, to LA. And traveling can be great. It can be a good experience. It's not always like the greatest experience because it can be trying and your patience can wear thin, especially when there are young children on board between the ages of, let's say, two to six. It's the mine phase, you know, mine. It's the no phase, no. Let's just be honest, they're little spawns of Satan and it's nothing you can do about it. It's just kind of that age group that they're just not good people at that age. That's ever the world revolves around them. They're not, they're, they're terrible. They whine, they complain, especially on planes. So they, they whine and complain like you do right now. Anyway, so I get on my plane and there are at least six toddlers on this plane. So I'm already in a bad mood because they're already loud. You know, you just know, you just know that moment when you get on the plane, you're like, oh, this is going to be a long flight. Luckily I have my noise canceling headphones. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to zone them out. But I had a kid sitting behind me and a kid sitting in front of me. But this guy leans over in front of my seat and he kind of peeks over and he says, hey neighbors. And whenever you're like in a bad mood, you know, you're a person that's way overly peppy and optimistic, you're just like, go away. They're just irksome. You don't want anything to do with them. You're like, get out of my face. But I was like, hey, hey man, how's it going? He was like, hey, here you go. And he hands me this little baggie. And this is what prompted my New Year's resolution. And he said, I'm traveling with a toddler and here's a little goodie bag just in case she has an episode. In the goodie bag we have Skittles, jelly beans with Star Wars figure on there, and earplugs. This guy understands life. It's not that hard. He understood that he had a kid that was just going to be annoying. Oh, by the way, she was an angel. The rest of the kids on the flight were a little He wrote a little note on here too. He said, to our fellow passengers, Thanks in advance for your patience with our toddler. May the force be with us all on this flight. You know, it immediately put me in a good mood. And it was a small gesture. It was such a tiny thing. But just the fact that he acknowledged that he knew what was going on around him, that it's things that annoy people on a regular basis, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna take the time to just show people that I understand and I respect their time and their travel space. And that's what I'm gonna try and do in 2016 is to be kind and aware of the little things in life. Just be more cognizant of the people around me and try and make the world a better place through small gestures. You don't need to spend a lot of money to make the world a better place. Just make a little gesture of kindness to someone every day. So that's my, my goal. Thank you, man on the airplane. I don't know your name, but you have inspired me to be kinder on a regular basis. I'm not a on a regular basis, all right? I look forward so. to this. So my New Year's resolution is to show people love and respect through small gestures, along with a lot of other things, but that's just, that's the, the one that I wanted to tell you guys uh, and encourage you to do the same so that way we can start making the world just a little bit nicer. One nice gesture a day to show people you care. I think that we'll be surprised at how it can really change a person's attitude and perspective. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Do something nice for somebody. Love on somebody today. Happy New Year to you guys. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Another New Year's resolution is I'm going to have a video out one a week, if not two, but definitely one a week for you guys. So be looking forward to that. A lot of venting, a lot of funny things to come, and mm -hmm. I will see you. Don't, don't. Hopefully it's funny. No. No, I knew you were going to do something like that. <laughs> it's going to be funny. Enjoy your New Year's. See you next video. James I'll see out. you next time. Happy New Year's. I'll see you guys next video. And I'm out.